What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hulk. You're gonna turn you into the Incredible Hulk today? Yes. That's your Incredible Hulk face? That's your Incredible Hulk face? <laughs> All right, so this is our base image for the Hulk and this is what we are going to make him look like. So it's not perfect as you can see, but it is pretty cool and I think you're gonna enjoy this one. So sit back, relax, and let's do this. All right, so I have my image of Nico that I took right here. I've kind of positioned him where I want him to be on the Hulk's head. You can see he's pretty close. He's gonna work out very nicely there. And I've used my lasso tool, this one here, to create my outline all around him. I've already got that. And once I had the outline made with the lasso tool, I created a layer mask by clicking on this icon here. And there it is. Okay, so before I get started, I'm gonna grab the Nico layer and the background layer by holding down the command button on the Mac. I'm gonna click on both layers, and then I'm gonna drag them down to this icon here. This is going to create a duplicate of both of those layers. So I can turn off the two original ones, and now I'm just working on these two. Now the first thing I see is there's a little area right here of black I wanna get rid of. And to do that, I'm just gonna use the stamp tool, which is this one here. And I'm gonna option click right around this area here, and I'm going to paint right back here. Okay, so just to get rid of that, I think everything else is probably fine. Now, I'm going to go to my Nico layer. And with my Nico layer selected, and I'm on the mask of that layer, I'm going to paint away at his hair, just a little bit. Okay, so you can tell that Nico's face is not exactly the same color as the Hulk's, and we are going to need to remedy that. So to do this, um, I find the easiest way is to do a gradient map adjustment layer. So we'll click on our adjustment layers icon, go up to gradient map, and make sure it is clipped just to the layer below, which is my Nico head. And I'm gonna adjust this from black and white, and we're gonna add some green to it. So I'm gonna take a real dark green color down here. That looks pretty good. Maybe another one somewhere over here. And I'm gonna add one more kind of a yellowish color. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just get it close for now and we will adjust it further as we go on. Okay, once we got that gradient map where we like it, we wanna add a brightness contrast layer adjustment layer here. So that is this one here. And again, I'm gonna clip that to the layer below. I'm gonna take the brightness down a little bit and I'm gonna bring the contrast way up. Yeah, something like that. Let's see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Maybe I'm gonna take a little bit off by the eyes, because I do like to lighten those guys up. So I'll zoom in and paint away a little bit with my brush tool, just on the eye layer. I have a 30% opacity on my brush, and just right in here. All right, I think that looks good. Now I'm gonna add another adjustment layer. Add a curve, so I'm actually gonna Clip this to the layer below and I'm going to increase some of the brightness and I'm going to do this for his eyes, just for his eyes. So once I get that pretty well blown out, I'm going to click on the mask, hit shift delete to bring up a fill, use my foreground color at 100% opacity, and then I'm going to paint away with a white color just in his eyes. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now what I wanna do is I want to command 
click onto my mask of my original Nico head and then hit Command Shift C to copy all of that, Command V to paste the new layer, and I can turn off everything I was working on there for, with his head. And I'm gonna add some noise to him. And by adding noise, by adding a little bit of noise, I'm going to be able to blend him better into the background image and add a little bit more contrast and definition to his face. So I'm gonna add about that much, Click OK, and I'm going to rename this layer Noise. Now I'm going to add another Curves layer, and we're going to darken him down, his face down. Again, clip to the Noise layer, darken it down quite a bit here. Ooh, there we go. Maybe brush away at the eye area again a little bit. Brush away at the areas that we want to keep some highlights on. Okay, that's pretty good there. Now we're going to add another gradient mask to try and get them a little closer to the right color. And this one, just want to add a little bit more of that yellowish green. This one I'm going to paint away a bit on. Okay, that color looks a lot better to me. Now what I want to do is I want to add more contrast to him. So I'm going to do what I did before by selecting the mask of his face, Command Shift C and Command V to make another copy. I'm going to use, actually let's turn off these layers first. And I'm going to go to Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. From here, we're going to be able to add a lot more contrast to him. So I like that. All right, so now that's a little bit much. So I'm going to take the opacity down to about 50% on there. Okay, so create this new layer. Make sure the blending mode is soft light. Take my brush at 30% opacity, and I'm going to paint in some dark areas here. I'm going to paint both on Nico's face and on the layer below it so that it blends a little bit more. Okay, so the darks look good. Now I'm going to add some highlights. So another new layer. Again, soft light for the blending mode. I'm going to use my ink drop tool and select somewhere with this nice yellow color. Okay, select that color, go back to my brush. And I'm going to paint in the highlighted areas there. See how we're adding just that little bit of highlight color? That's going to bring it together real nice. Looking at this, I think I want to add a little bit more contrast. So I'm going to go right above my gradient map layer here. I'm going to add another curves layer. Again, clip it to the layer below. And I'm going to bring this down. Bring some of those darks down a little bit and maybe some of the lights up a little bit. Maybe not quite that much. Yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna go to my mask. I'm gonna brush away some of the areas that I don't want in there. Okay, next thing I wanna do is add some highlights to his eyes. So I'm going to create another new layer and I'm going to zoom in right at these eyes here. I've got my brush tool selected. I already selected a nice green color for this, nice big vibrant green. I've got 30% opacity and I'm just going to paint these little like half moons under his eye and under this eye. Okay, maybe a little bit of yellow in there too. So let's change this color. And let's go over here somewhere. Let's add a little bit of yellow. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller and we're just gonna do it on the side here, just like this. A 
couple little stripes with that. Okay, and maybe one more little green in there. So as we zoom out, oh yeah, like that. But you know what? Looks like he has a highlight in this eye, but not in this eye. So let's add another highlight to his eye there. So I'm going to select everything. I'm going to do my Command Shift C and Command V to create a new layer. So I'll use a stamper tool, click right in the highlight, and I'm going to add that highlight right in here. Just the highlight. Okay, let's see how that looks. Much better. I like what we have so far. What I do want to do is blur out some of that noise, just a little of it. So I am going to make a copy of this layer here. And I'm going to go Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And we're just going to do a little bit here. Let's see. And maybe somewhere in there. So then I'm going to create the mask. I'm going to paint away at the areas that I want to remove and keep some of that detail. So around the eyes, keep some of that around the mouth. The rest of it, let's leave it kind of blurry in there. I think that looks pretty good. I think one more thing to finish it off is I'm going to create a new layer. Again, I'm going to make a mask with his face. And I'm going to paint black on this layer at a 30% opacity again, just along the sides of him to kind of blend that in a little bit. Okay, maybe one more layer, and let's add some highlights to this one. This is going to be soft light. We're going to make these white highlights. And we're going to add a mask to that to keep it all just right on his face. He looks pretty good right now, but I think what I want to do is make another copy, Command-Shift-C and Command-V of the face that we're working on. And I want to add another brightness contrast. I want to take the contrast down just a little bit. Oh, I want to clip it to the layer that I'm working on. So bring the contrast down a little and the brightness up a little. And one last thing I want to do is create one more layer, another soft light, and I want to create a mask of his face, and we're just going to add some more highlights just to bring a little bit more yellow in. So I'm going to find a spot with a lot of nice yellow here, something like that. I'm going to paint with my brush just on those highlight areas. And there you go. I think that's pretty good. What do you think? Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If anything in there did not make sense, please go to Amazon and pick up my book, The Landscape Photographer's Field Guide. I go in and break down a lot of this kind of stuff in there. Um, kind of gives you some basics into uh, photo editing and basically photography in general. So again, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.